Hey everyone, Chetna here from Me with a Pencil and in this tutorial I'm going to share how to write with a paintbrush, watercolor brush lettering tutorial. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to use paintbrush. This is a zero size art kazan, art essential kazan squirrel brush, paintbrush and a Camlin paintbrush. So first we are going to try with the 4 number or 2 number paintbrush and then a smaller number brush. We will need, uh, I am going to use a liquid color as well as I am going to show you how to write with a tube paint colors. We will need a, a jar of water, a tissue paper and I am using an art essential drawing paper. So let me take a little bit of ink and pour into a palette. You can also directly use from the bottle as well. I'm using a Camlin brush that is a four number size brush. So make sure that your brush is clean and now dip into the water. Hold your brush here or where the barrel ends and not too close to the tip so that we have a space to move our hand. And we get good control over the brush and the letters as well. Hold the brush parallel to the paper angle. It is approximately 45 degree. So make sure to hold it very gently and not too tight. It should not be like very close so that we won't have much space to move around our hand and create letters. The lighter the hold of the, on the paint brush would be better to control the pressure on the bristles of the brush. So now let's see I'm adding a little bit of color into a brush so this the brush is not loaded with a lot of color or a lot of water. So if that happens if there's not much water or much color in it you will get this rough texture look. If you want that you can create it that way as well but if you want a very clean colorful look you will need to load your brush properly with the color like this. Make sure to clean your brush after you are done using the color. So now let us uh, see the basic strokes of brush lettering. So basic strokes are very important before you start writing letters or words. So here is the first basic stroke that is an upstroke. So here when your pen or br brush moves in an upward direction you create a thin line. So it's called an upstroke. And the second one is the downstroke where you move downwards. When your hand moves downwards and you create a thick line. You put a pressure on the paint brush and you create a gradual thick line. So that's a downstroke. Always work with the guidelines when you're, whenever you are practicing calligraphy or lettering. It is very very helpful to create a consistent letters and strokes. And the third one that we have is an undertone curve. It's like we are applying the thin and thick pressure where your pen goes upwards. It's thin when your pen goes downwards it's thick. So this is undertone curve. And this one is overtone curve. I am using an art essential drawing paper 180 GSM. So to work with paint brush or watercolor you, you need a thicker paper to write on. But whenever you are practicing you can use at least 100 GSM paper to practice using the guidelines. So now let's look at the fifth stroke that is a compound curve. So it's like a combination of both overtone and undertone curve. So again I repeat to use a guideline when you are practicing to avoid uneven strokes. So here it goes in the compound curve from thin stroke to thick and then again a thin stroke. So make sure to go slow while transitions from thin to thick or thick to thin. So this is an oval stroke. So oval is a very important stroke to practice. 
So that's compound curve and then we have an oval stroke. So, so that is the starting point of oval following the arrow complete the oval stroke. And the seventh one we have is the ascend ascender or the ascending loop which is used for the letters with the upper loops like B, K, L, etc. And the next is the descender, descending loop that is used for letter like G, Y, J, such letters. So make sure to go slow and practice these basic strokes to understand how the letters are created. And then slowly, slowly you can move on to letters and then connecting words. So that's one ascender and then a descender. Okay. So we are done with the basic strokes. Now I'll write the word art again to show you how these strokes help us to connect the letter. So I'm using an another color to write the word art again. So here we'll use an oval stroke first to create the letter A. So it's okay if you retouch your strokes when you work with paintbrush, it's totally fine. And that will give you a clean look to the strokes. And then we do an undertone curve. So that creates letter A. So this is how the basic stroke plays a role in forming letters and the words. So writing with the paintbrush is as similar to writing with a brush pen. By brush pen uh, gives you a better control compared to the paint brush but paint for paint brush you need to practice more and to get hold of it because they are very soft to work with. So now we'll look how we can write using a tube paints, tube watercolor paints. So now uh, these colors have dried up in my palette so I'm going to reactivate them and you would need a very water like consistency. Uh, in the color so I'm going to pour a lot, quite a few drops of water to make it little watery. Now take a brush and reactivate the paint. It should have this uh, water like consistency like this. So now let's start. I'm going to do some blending using two colors blue and red. So here I'm writing letter C. So I'm going to add more color so that the color blends into the next letter. Add more to the exit stroke as well. Now clean the brush and take another color. So now start from here, this point, so that the Red color blends in with the blue color and you get a beautiful red to blue purple effect, purple color blending. Now repeat the process for all the letters one by one and make sure to load your brush with lot of color so you blend all the letters and you get a very beautiful blending effect. And we are done with the word create. Uh, look how beautiful all the letters have blended into each other. Um, I like the way how it looks. So here I am writing the word art using zero size number brush. So writing with a paint brush is not only limited to the script letters. You can also write bold letters with it and do different styles of lettering as well. So you can explore in different many different ways. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you try this do tag us at me with a pencil and art lounge dot in we would love to see your work and if you like this tutorial please let us know your thoughts in the comments below thank you for watching